Welcome back to a new video from the Art Visual Art Classroom. Um, let's let's start point a circle. In this case, uh, I recommend you to use four five centimeters radius. Uh, next, we're going to draw a line. It's going to be one of the diameters of the circle. So I need to extend the line. So that I'm going to get two points, one over here and the other one here. So let's label as usual these points A and B. A next step to take is, in this case, to draw a horizontal line from the center of the circle and extend the line because it's going to be perpendicular to the first diameter we have already drawn. So we get two new points. You can see here and over here. Um, and let's label them C and D. We join these points with a different color, for example green. We get the first square we were looking for and besides we recognize that we have already divided or broken down the circle into four equal parts. In order to, to, to keep going with the process I'm going to take the compass again, place it on the uh, center of the circle and draw an arc this way. So you can draw this arc all the way all the way round and I'm going to get these points, remember, because I'm looking for I'm building up the angle bisector of this angle this is going to be ninety degrees as you know. Let's label these two points, points one and two over at either diameters and let's keep doing the angle by sector just drawing these two swinging arc arches from points 1 and 2 keeping the same radius we have started with so we get this point over here and we just the only thing we have to do, let's change again the color it's joining the center of the circle and start drawing the whole line until the other part of the circle. So we get two points we're going to keep going here the uh, angle by sector. Remember we have already drawn the corresponding arc. I'm going to draw two new arches from point one and the other point we have already. I mean for example let's label this point three three and just we're going to, to do the same thing we did first with the first angle bisector this is going to be the second angle bisector extend it just until the other part of the circle and we get two new two new uh, four uh, points on the whole uh, let's do the let's make the the line a little bit thinner so this is going to be one of the sides of a new square we get it this is a new square so uh, we have already broken down the circle broken down into eight equal parts of of course, if we kept 
joining all these points over here we will get eventually an octagon uh, let's take a look at these points uh, in order to not to get wrong I recommend you to think of the sides of both squares oh sorry this is mistaken so and the diagonals of the e each one of those squares so we have one square here we have another square here in green color and we need to to look for the points intersection points between the green uh, rectangle and the diagonals of the other um, square and this square the sides of this square and the diagonals of the green square that correspond to uh, diameters a b and c d so we just keep joining all those points and I'm, I'm going to take blue color so let's start you, you, you get here as you can see a line parallel to the former green color square so it's quite easy we get another square parallel to uh, the green color one but smaller in size we keep going the same way with the other four points we have and we get a new square parallel to the former one that uh, was in the in the beginning I, I, we, we can keep going this way mm, as many times as we want as we want to so we have one two three four five six seven and eight new points let's keep keep going joining these points so we get a new square that is smaller again in size and let's keep joining all those points so we have let me do it a little bit better getting everything straight yes this is much more better well uh, basically we, we, we are done uh, you could keep going uh, and naturally you could also uh, keep joining uh, other points inside for example you could keep keep joining uh, these points in order to make your drawing as complex as you as you want so it's up to you to make it as complicated as you want the more complicated the more complex your drawing is the more possibilities you have to work with the logo afterwards and that's all uh, let's see again in the new in a new video